Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yeah, so what do we got today? Well, today we're going to check out some magazine. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We've only done that, what, once so far? I believe it was only once one. Once or twice. I think it was only one. You think it was only one? No, yeah. no, it was twice. Okay. I'm sure it was twice. Anyway. <laughs> but when we did check them out, I do remember being completely intrigued by them. Yeah. And that the lead singer was a little intense. Yes. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. Yeah. For It, it is two videos. Um, we checked out, I don't remember the names right now, off, my, off the back of my head here right now. But I had it early, just before we started even, I had it in my brain and I can't remember the names anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Just the other week we did it. We did one song. That's okay. But yeah, this guy's pretty intense and I really enjoyed the last one especially. Yeah. And well, we want more. Yeah. We so. have to definitely check out more. <laughs> and we got so many requests for this one. Yes. We got Nicholas Moss, Scott Hindle, Adam Delo sorry, Adam Leroy Davis, uh, Jay McGee. Uh, I was a countdown kid, sick frog, the mighty V, SPK design one, vision creation, new sun, and Steven Davison. Yeah. So I was pretty excited about the idea of getting back into this because that many people wanted this song. I was like, okay, the minute we finished doing magazine, the suggestions started just pouring in for this song. That's true. So I was like, okay, that's the next one we do. <laughs> Has to be, huh? yeah. So we're going to have to check it out. Uh, we tried to find the live Jules Holland version. Uh, we we may or may not have found it, but it, we couldn't tell. Yeah, exactly. I so <laughs> we're just going to do this video version. I'm sure it's fine. It sounded good. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it just the same. So let's get into it. This is Magazine with The Light Pours Out of Me. This song sounds very familiar. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure what it is. It's what he's playing. This, okay. 
but it's only certain pieces of it that feel like a very famous different rock song. Okay. I'm trying to place it right now. I can't come up with the name for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like how the guitarist is using his using the timing to uh, switch off to make to confuse us, because when he when the lead singer comes back in, we're always a little off on where he's coming in properly. Yeah. And I, it's that little guitar piece right there that kind of cuts off a little. Seems a little early. That's intentional to to throw us. Yeah. For sure. Do 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 do. It, it's that something's grabbing my attention with that part mm. it's a different song that uses that and i don't know what it is and there was another little piece that sounded familiar too but it's like it's all the guitar that's doing it mm. and i'm not sure what it is and it's bothering me <laughs> <laughs> but the whole song sounds pretty awesome right now yeah like the whole feel of it is really good. Yeah. I like it. And just as intense as, uh, intense as the last two. Yeah. Mm. He's hard to get used to watching. That's true. He's very intense. <laughs> but he's really good. But he's good. Yeah. I'm yeah. enjoying it. A great performer. And him walking off the stage every time just to get to the <laughs> That's really good stuff there. It really is. So let's keep going. He just going. kind of saunters off after he's done singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. abrupt ending <laughs> <laughs> i liked it though i did too but it was so much fun oh that's what we we shot did by both shot sides. by both sides of course i don't know why we didn't remember the name of that uh, that is so silly weird, and you're right? right we did do two songs i can't remember the very first one we did still no but i was trying to think of that too but shot by both sides was really interesting yeah i loved that yeah, it was really good, you actually. Know? And this one was magnificent. I mean, it really was, but it's still bugging me that I don't know what song that is. That it's <laughs> but yeah, if you're not careful, that guitar, that change in the, that little timing thing that the guitarist does, throws you right off. Oh, yeah. You have to really be paying attention. The third time I got it. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But it was really, this is really great. I, I mean, think that this guy, the lead singer, yeah. seems probably only comfortable on stage. I think so. Like, he seems like that's the only place he really shines. You I know would, what I mean? Like, that's entirely makes possible. Makes him comfortable. 
because he's able to be himself and be creative and nobody looks down upon him for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas in normal life, maybe he doesn't have it that easy. Maybe not. No. You know what I mean? But I, I love his personality on stage. Oh, for he's sure. great. He does his thing. He's and so it, especially intense. With this, especially with this song. He gets right in your face and he's giving his, giving you all his his attention. Yeah. Telling you how it is and then when he's done. He just saunters away. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> I love it. It was great. Yeah. Sure. This was fantastic. I've been definitely interested in getting into more of this band because... Yeah. We're just starting into it, really, and they're very interesting. They are, for sure. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. I wouldn't say they're absolutely amazing, but they're they're very intriguing. They're Certainly very are. good. Great talent. I mean, yeah. this is something else. I, I'm, I, I wish I would have known who this band was when I was growing up, for sure. Yeah, I may or may not have liked it growing up because mm. your That's... tastes don't match up the same way when you're young as when you get older usually that is true you for know? sure i may not have appreciated them back in the uh, 80s when i was a, i would a have teenager. been too judgy i think <laughs> yeah <laughs> that intense look might have just made me go no thanks mm. you know but i i don't know it depends we're, because we're I, guilty of what most other kids in the 80s were guilty of we yeah. listened to whatever was popular and picked out the stuff that we thought was really great out of the popular stuff so and then judged Anybody else? Anybody A little else. too harshly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't really sit down and watch City Limits, though. I thought it was interesting. Although, you know what's funny? I actually liked Midnight Oil from the very first time I saw them, and I was young. That's true. And That's they're true. In, they're very intense. Yeah. <laughs> and it was very different compared to Canadian things. That's true. So. But they're, like, like I said, City Limits uh, is a much music show. Uh, they don't do it anymore, of course, because they don't play music on much music yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And but, but, I mean, at the time, in the 80s, it was a very interesting show to watch. Uh, uh, anytime I actually sat down and watched the show, which was rare, I got to experience some really interesting sounds. I mean, I think I saw the Divinal Series for the first time. Um well, I mean, I never, I never heard Skyhooks. <laughs> no. But there were like, uh, I think Depeche Mode was uh, there. Uh, um, yeah, they would have been for sure. Yeah, Romeo Boyd. Yeah. Uh, which was really, really. Very odd. Odd to me <laughs> in my head back in the 80s. At the time, yes. Yeah. Uh, was Talk Talk you know. on there? Is... Uh, no, Talk no. Talk was no, more no, of they a were popular different. band. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, just the more intense stuff, like the stuff that really kind of throws you a little bit. A lot of the... Uh, a lot of the English stuff, like uh, I don't know, um, I, I can't really explain. You have to, you'd have to have seen the show. Yeah, everything it, was intentionally. It was a different, little different. You know? Yeah, what they it, called re what they called alternative in the eighties is not what they called it in the nineties. Yeah, exactly. But I wasn't one for watching that channel. I mean, that specific show as much. Me either. But um, but every time I sat down and said, you know, hey, it's on. Yeah. I'm bored. Let's watch this. Well, for me, it, it was, was my older sister. She yeah. would put it on sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, she was she's five years older than me, so she was going to get into it before I did for sure. Probably, yeah. Yeah. But this was a really awesome suggestion. It so was. thank you very much, you guys, for that one. We definitely want to check out more magazines because they're getting to be pretty interesting to us. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you again. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.